Hello guys, this is Migo. Today I will show you how to make this ice cream effect using uh, a curve and uh, some modifiers and using uh, some geometry nodes. So uh, let's start. So before we start, we need to enable some add on. So let's go here the preferences add on and enable this uh, this add curve extra object. Just search for it uh, in here and enable it. Uh, or is it this? Added curve uh, extra object and save your prefaces. Now, if you press Shift A, uh, you go to curve. You can add a uh, spiral curve with this uh, value. And before you press anything, uh, go uh, open this uh, window right here and put uh, the turns to two or three. And let's go play with this height a little bit like this. See. Now we can uh, we can play with this radius growth a little bit, make it like this, and maybe we need to make the height a little bit down like this. Okay, I think like this is nice. Now you can press away like this. Now select this curve, and we need to go to the modifiers, and let's add a subdivision subsurface with two levels like this. Okay. Now we're gonna need to animate this curve. How we're gonna animate it? Uh, uh, I think I used a method. I never seen someone used it before. So let's add a cube like this. Put it down right here, and let's duplicate this cube and put it right here up. And let's name this cube to uh, controller. Okay, guys. Now you need to select this spiral, and we need to use a modifier. I never used this modifier before, but in this tutorial so let's use it go here to the default and warp select this warp and you're gonna need to select the object from the controller to the object uh, cube this now if we move this cube this controller the spiral will warp from from here to here okay guys so see it will move like, uh, like this so what we can do we can uh we can move this a little bit right here. We need what we need to do is just uh, the curve to move uh, from up to down. In uh, so we're gonna need to uh, to move our cube right here. Make sure it's a little bit up in uh, in here, like uh, like the, the origin of the curve is here, but uh, the the origin of the controller is here. Okay, guys. Now if you select this uh, curve. And give the strength to a negative value, maybe like this, maybe minus 10. Okay, now you go here to this, this fall off and bring the radius a little bit up like this. Okay, guys. Now, if we move, uh, if we see the shape, see how the shape uh, of the curve uh, looks. Now, if we move this uh, controller up, see, our, cu our curve will fall off like uh, an ice cream machine. Very good effect, right? Okay, now we need just to add it a keyframe. Okay, where is it? Okay, let's add a Z keyframe on the position. Okay, let's keyframe this. Insert single keyframe. Go maybe to the 80. And let's move this on the Z axis like this. Okay. Until our uh, our, our curve uh, take its shape. Uh, right here. Okay. Right here, we're gonna add another key, uh, single key, key frame, and let's see now the movement. Okay, it's moving very good. So like ice cream machine. Now let's make our keyframes, uh, our frames to eight here like this. Now, if, now if you want to just hide this cube, go here and hide it. Hide the other cube like this, and now you have only this curve with this effect like this now if you want to add a geometry to this curve if you try to go here and add a, a depth you will get this bent effect and it's uh, i mean it's kind of nice but it's not what we are looking for because uh, the warp modifier will warp this all this geometry so the solution here is just to use geometry nodes so let's add it here uh,
Okay, let's select our curve and give it a new geometry nodes. Okay, like this. Now it's a curve, but we need to convert it to to curve. So let's uh, make mesh to curve. Okay, like this. Now we need another node. Uh, set radius. Set curve radius like this. And to me uh, to. Uh, to give it a little bit of geometry, we need uh, to convert it from curve to mesh. So now it's a curve, we need to convert it to mesh. So curve to mesh, like this. Now we need to uh, put a profile here for the curve to get some geometry. So let's add a star shape and plug it right here. Now if we see, we have a little bit of geometry. Now if we want to increase a little bit this radius, see. Let's see now. See that we have a geometry in this curve. Okay. Now we have a hole in this cap, so let's fill this cap. Okay, let's see right now. We're gonna play with this star a little bit. Maybe we give it six, six uh, edges or six points, and let's play with those values a little bit. And to make it a little bit appear like a real ice cream, we're gonna uh, subdivide it. So let's subdivide the mesh, and see right now it's very smooth. So let's give it maybe two uh, two uh, levels of subdivision. And let's see right now. Okay, guys. Let's see the effect. Okay, nice. So maybe we increase the radius a little bit like this. Okay, now we can just scale it on the z-axis a little bit like this. So we're going to squish it a little bit like this and apply our scale. Okay, now we got a very good effect. Okay, let's see. See you guys. Okay, this is our setup. Now, if you want to get to make this, or if you want to take this to another level, you can. Uh, we can add some uh, some pinch here in this uh, part, so it's a little bit uh, squishy here, right here. And uh, we're gonna do this, but uh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit not stable. No, not uh, not stable, but it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky, as we said. So, what we're gonna do to add this pinch right here, uh, we're gonna add up position node like this and we're gonna add a math node like this and we're gonna need a map range like this okay guys and we need a color uh, color ramp like this and i think i forget a node maybe it's uh, separate y and z like this okay guys now let's see how our effect will look if we connect those values. Let's connect the position in this vector and let's connect the Z in this value and let's change this add to divide like this and let's connect this value into this value right here and let's connect this to this factor right here and let's connect uh, this color ramp to this radius right here and oh my god we need to add it another uh, math node and put it right here and make this to add now if we move this you're gonna see a lot of crap so let's fix that a little bit i think uh, we're gonna need to play with those values and reduce them until we get our shape okay like this <clears throat> now we're gonna play with this until we get back our shape and you're gonna need to play with the color ramp a little bit Okay, like this, and select this white and make it a little bit of this uh, gray color, okay, like this. Now we're going to play with this value until we get this pinch right in here. Okay, and you're going to play with it like this. It's a little bit tricky, guys, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to just play with this color ramp until you get this effect okay so this this value divide it will move this uh, pinch effect along the curve okay we got that and those values will make it squish a lot okay like this 
so we need it to be like this and this part we squish it like along this okay and this will move here like this okay so we're gonna just squish it a little bit right here and make this mask like this Okay, I think like this is nice. Let's see the effect right now. And maybe we're gonna scale it a little bit like this. So this is the, this is what the what will scale all this effect. Okay, like this. And this will move this effect. Okay, guys. Like this. So let's see. Okay, let's go here. And maybe you're gonna just move it like this. And uh, it's based on the Z position, so let's try to make it in the Y. Or let's leave it in the Z axis like this. Okay. And you're gonna improve it a little bit like this. Okay. Well, let's see. We can play with this all day, you know, until we get a good result like this. And maybe you're gonna add it to another value right here. Okay. Let's see right now. Okay. <laughs> I think you got the idea, guys. You need just to play with this color ramp until you get you get good value. I think we got something looks good. Okay, guys, I think uh, this is looking good. What we can do is just add maybe a cylinder like this with 16 verts. Let's go to the edit mode and delete this face and move it right here like this. And let's select this face, move it a little bit like this. Okay, let's do like this, fill it down and fill this face, move it right here. Okay, let's add it some loops like this. Let's see right now if we added a subdivision to this and set shade to smooth. Okay, let's see right now. And uh, we need to scale this a little bit like this. Okay, let's see. I'll scale it a little bit like this. And can I just play with this like this? Very good effect. Huh? What you can do, you can go to this uh, maybe. We fix a little bit this geometry right here, and uh, we're gonna extrude this and bevel this a little bit, and you're gonna delete this face and go here to this face grid fill, go here, delete this face, select everything, go here grid fill, and we got very good uh, plate. I don't know what they call it. Okay, let's go back and see. Okay, very nice effect. Now we can just go to the render view and um, put a material to this. 
and we're gonna need to go here to the geometry nodes and uh, set material node and give it this material and let's give it maybe this color okay let's see right now very good huh okay let's select this and give it maybe a metallic color like this okay let's see make this shiny a little bit or roughness a little bit okay okay i think uh, that's it guys you can just uh, play more with this setup and add the camera and uh, you know render this and that's it guys thank you for watching